ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Afternoon Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the ninth day of September. I'm James Spann here in the Weather Center, and we are dealing with some rain around parts of Alabama as we do this update. Let's uh, take a look out the window, if you will, with our SkyCam network. We'll begin with the SkyCam up at Mount Cheehaw. Raindrops on the lens there. And because of the clouds and showers, temperatures are only in the low 70s up on that big mountain. That's just south of Anniston. The elevation up there, a little over 2,400 feet. That's Alabama's highest mountain. And boy, check that out. That's a look at uh, traffic on Highway 280. You can barely see the traffic because of the heavy rain falling. That's the view from the uh, Wingate Inn. And it's a big downpour. But you know what? You go to Demopolis and it's mostly sunny. For satellite imagery, a cold front on the way, driving down into this moist air mass, helping to enhance the chance. And, of course, we have Ike down there over the western tip of Cuba. And you can see the scattered nature of the showers and storms. Most folks not getting wet. Some people are. County south of downtown Birmingham and a few scattered showers and storms down toward Montgomery. And it will fall over the next five days. Well, this is the idea coming from the guys at HPC. This is suggesting big rains for South Texas. That's with Ike and the moisture from Ike becoming entrained in a cold front coming up through parts of Oklahoma, eastern Kansas, Missouri. And around here, it's really suggesting not much. In fact, down there in South Alabama, that's suggesting barely enough to measure with amounts of uh, one inch for the Tennessee Valley. And I still think the weather will be pretty unsettled through Thursday with scattered, maybe numerous showers and storms at times. Old Ike beginning to come off the western tip of Cuba. Uh, Ike is still a minimal hurricane. Sustained winds are 75 miles per hour. Might be downgraded to a tropical storm on the next package, but again, uh, it's about to come off the uh, Cuban, uh, Cuban uh, western tip there and should grow stronger. Here's a look at our modeling. The uh, 12Z models want to bring Ike on into the uh, lower Texas coast. Most of them, but not all of them, the Limited barotropic is the outlier, which it often is, not one of the most reliable tropical models. But we note that there has been some hint it may be a more northward shift on two models, but it sure seems like the bulk of the models want to take it down there towards South Padre Island. The Hurricane Center track is not changing much, and, you know, they, they do the right thing. They just don't adjust it in a hurry, and that's the way you need to do it. You don't flip and flop with every zig and zag on the model runs. Uh, they've got it coming in near Corpus Christi uh, Saturday morning as uh, what should be a pretty big hurricane. We'll look at the intensity models, uh, the GFDL. Uh, they've got the intensity at 122 knots uh, at 950 millibars, and the pressure should be deeper than that at the surface. So that would be a very powerful uh, Category 4 or 5 hurricane. And again, the GFDL has shifted a little north, up uh, really uh, the GFDL is suggesting that maybe Galveston will see a blow from this thing, if that's right. It's got it coming in just north of Matagorda Bay there uh, Saturday morning, and the, the wharf is pretty much uh, right in line with the GFDL. It's got it coming in between uh, Galveston Bay and Matagorda Bay uh, really Friday night, a little faster as a very powerful hurricane. So uh, understand uh, our friends all, all up and down the Texas coast will need to watch this as the models want to shift a little bit to the right on this run. Here's the GFS. This is at noon tomorrow, noon Wednesday. Big trough out west. Ike down below. Stalled front near Interstate 40 in Tennessee. And a pretty soupy air mass. So, again, we'll mention scattered showers and storms tomorrow. We'll do the same thing on Thursday. The air mass not changing much. Ike is uh, chugging through the Gulf south of Louisiana. Friday, Ike approaches the middle Texas coast on this run. The GFS shifting north as well to the right. Uh, so, again, our friends in Galveston all of a sudden are kind of looking at this a little more carefully now. And around here, note the moisture thins out somewhat. We will probably be on the subsidence ring of Ike on Friday, and I really think we can begin to uh, back down on the chance of showers Friday. Saturday starting off the weekend looks pretty dry here. It uh, looks like any shower should be few and far between. The big rains over Texas. Looks like Ike wants to come right up Interstate 35, doesn't it? from uh, Austin up to Waco and Dallas-Fort Worth. And you can see the moisture in training in that front, running from Wichita Falls up to Chicago. Uh, Sunday, the big moisture blob is over Missouri and Illinois. Uh, that was uh, Ike. 
is it rapidly moves northeast, and Alabama looks pretty dry on Sunday, so really the GFS is suggesting the good moisture for Mike stays north of the state. Monday of next week, very strong trough over the east. The cold front, though, the, the big Ike moisture is like way up over New England at that point. And the moisture here is very skimpy, so nothing more than a few showers Monday with that front, if this is right. And then Tuesday looks relatively dry here. But again, uh, there's a lot more questions than answers concerning weather in the day three and four and five time range here. Quickly, at the end of the cycle on the 25th of September, look at the trough. Are you kidding me? Really two of them, one big one rotating through eastern Canada, one big one over the western U.S. Can you say Rocky Mountain snowstorm, huh? Might be the first good snow of the season out there. That could be a whopper if that's right. But around here we got the ridge, and it just uh, we're, it was cold. Look at the cold air in eastern Canada. It's up there just waiting to come down, and we would love to have some, but again, no sign on this run of it happening in the next couple of weeks. But we will be watching. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, alabamawx.com. Uh, the next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, and we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.